So, I don't really trust the official game awards anymore after one specific zombie game won. Now, nothing bad about the game, but the thing is, I only started hearing that people liked the game after it won the awards. I never heard people liking The Last of Us 2 before. Also, before we start, what do you think of the new graphics upgrades? I've been working pretty hard on this, I'm very proud. A lot of expressions. Anyways, alright, let's get to the Draggy Award rules. These games will mostly be attached to recent events, but are not restricted to it. This means as long as I have played the game, it is eligible, since it's my game awards. Number 10. Spadoon. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get some flames for this, but the game is cool, I agree. Paint guns and buckets and shoot fire and all the thing is. I didn't actually play it. <laughs> yeah, I anyways, but uh I think I think it's really cool and I saw the hype around it. I did play the demo and I would say it does look like a very great game. I like the designs of the characters. Plus, uh, Twitch had the people green screening uh, the ink to show very nasty stuff, which is funny. Anyways, number nine. This was ours. We ruled this land. We owned the night. Batman rose up against us. We were overthrown. For centuries, hidden away in darkness. Tortured by thirst. Choking down dust. From the hallows of the deep, rise. Welcome to the world of V Rising, a bleak medieval world where you are one of the few last vampires. Come up to become the ruler above all in the lands in this wacky multiplayer RPG type survival game. The game is alright, but it has too much downtime. It's kind of boring. Like, I go out, I kill things, then I get all these blood bores and hearts and all that, and then I need to convert the hearts into things, and I just need to sit there and wait for that conversion thing to happen or some crafting, and why can't you just do it instantly? I don't get it. Number 9. Terraria. This game is one of those games that I just kind of played and didn't collect that much this year. I mean, yes, it is worth of note because the building is very relaxing, but I kind of just got burnt out. The game is good and so are the updates. If you feel interested, go play it. It's like 10 doubloons. Anyways, number 7. Evil Genius. Now, I had a played uh, a few different games, and one of those games is gonna be on the list that made me feel like I wanted to play more of this genre. And this is what I found in the Dungeon Keeper genre. It is definitely an interesting uh, thing, but uh, problem, this game has too much downtime as well, and I feel like I should mention what downtime is. Basically, you don't do anything. You just sit there waiting for progress to happen. And in this game, uh, although it's really cool that you can build out your base and progress and, uh, you know, go crazy with being an evil mastermind and stuff, I, I don't, I didn't feel like I was progressing the game. I felt like I just got a bunch of different tasks to do. So that's why it doesn't go any higher. Number six, The Witcher 3. Now, 
I might get some flack for this, since it already has won an award. But this year, I played it, and I think it's pretty cool. I do, but it just didn't click. It might be the second person view, I don't know. Whatever it was, the game just did not make it any higher. I don't know what to say. Oh boy. Number 5. Now, we all have feelings about this game, a lot of tend to compare it to League of Legends, and even if I'd argue that Dota has more content, it's not like the argument will stop. So let's get down to my reasoning, since games past here are gonna be actual experiences that I would recommend. Dota 2, this year had to offer a very impressive battle pass. This year we got two Personas, two Arcanas, and a battle pass that was so big it was installed in two pieces. And a swag bag to free loot. Uh, that's the main thing, there's more to it, but yeah. Uh, I don't want to make Dora the entire video, so let's just keep going because this is just a fun little thing. Number 4. Such art. Mmm, I think I both talked about this game earlier. Anyway, be introduced to the far far future where art is taken by machines. A world in the middle of breaking into turmoil, a war between robots, the human resistance and Crabux. And you, you are a humble artist here to draw your way into the world. What will you do? End the war? Give morale? Or just run away on a space adventure. It's all up to you. Number three. Subnautica. Recently, I revisited this game and I'm in the middle of finishing it for a third time. I have it on Epic Games and Steam. The horrors of the deep have intrigued me again. And after chasing the 100% the entire series, I can't undermine how rememberable this game is, truly. Play it. Especially if you are a streamer or YouTuber, you may not even get a ton of views, but it will be definitely worth as a series. Because it's a horror game and survival. Plus, Subnautica has a multiplayer mod. Number 2! Dungeons 3! The king of evil has grown bored and now he is looking for more chaos. He has found an avatar to hold as their champion and it is now your job to instruct them on their way to victory. Now I genuinely like this game, it has a story but the main draw for me is the dialogue. Turn everything evil to ashes. Walls of fire, hmm? Walls of fire. Let me think, I just did something with one of those. Last mission? Ritual in the mountains, new skill, ring a bell. Oh, right! It's so charming, and let's not forget that Stanley's narrator is present. This game is why I wanted to play more Dungeon Keeper games. Number one. Cyberpunk, welcome back to Night City. And I'm sorry, this game is very rememberable. The theming, everything, it's like a worm eating away at my brain. The game is nowhere perfect, but I genuinely feel that Cyberpunk is a good example of what games with poor launches can end up doing, because they can definitely fix themselves. Imagine if Spore did this, just like No Man's Sky did. Anyway, this was mostly just a fun little thing I decided might be good to do. 
still we're gonna be leaving off this very calmly because I have uh, to catch up with my family too and I hope everyone had a great time and might play some of these video games just enjoy yourself it has been a really fun 2022 have happy new year and uh, happy holidays of course of course